Hey there everybody, hope everybody's doing well. So in today's video you saw I was doing some pickled onions. Now I was watching my good old friend Brandon Clark, the garbage disposal, and he was sent some of this this uh the, 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 I don't know, <laughs> y'all can say it. <laughs> uh, but one of his awesome subscribers and a camera and uh, they tried it out and I watched his video and I was like, man, I gotta, I'm gonna have to try that out because they sang some praises about it and then it had the pickled onions and I like pickles anyway and onions so I was like, man, I, I got it. I got to try it. So, went on to Amazon and found it. There y'all go. Y'all can see it for a little bit there. And uh, found it and ordered some. And decided I'd go ahead and do the pickled onions. And I want to do a chicken with it next. Uh, is to marinate the chicken and then spatchcock it and then smoke it. I think I'm thinking it's going to be really good from their description of what it was. So. I did the pickled onions and I did it just almost, almost exactly like the recipe says on the back. Um, it's got to take your fourth of a cup of water, cup of vinegar, half a cup of sugar. You mix all that together well and just let it sit and make sure you got your sugar and stuff dissolved. And then it's got to cut your onions into eights and like half moon sizes instead of cutting it that way I cut it a little smaller so mine are more like slivers because I wanted them smaller instead of larger when I was using them so that's that's the only really difference that I did and also it says two to three days and I was talking with Anna about them and she said to do it for a week or so to so do it longer so I waited and I took her recommendation so I'll try them out when they're done for y'all but uh we'll jump on into the video and now go through more of what i did maybe but it's pretty much close to the back of the package so we'll jump on into the video all righty folks here's what we're going to be looking at ingredients wise so i got three onions there and then the package is seasoning and i had two pint jars instead of a quart so that'll work for getting me up to a quart and then it's a cup of distilled vinegar fourth cup of water and then a half a cup of sugar that you're going to mix together with your seasoning pack so that's going to be your pickling spice and seasoning so i'll go ahead and get it start mixing up so again i got a package of the seasoning and it's one and one eighth ounce and then i've got my cup of white distilled vinegar my fourth of a cup of water and then I've got half a cup of sugar it's all gonna go in my bowl and get mixed together and then all that sitting waiting I'll go ahead and work on my onions and get a quick little magic chop on those there we go got those on you see I've cut them into little smaller slivers so there we go got my mixture there ready and still mixing so I'm gonna get my onions into the jars and then like I said to soak them in hot water for a few minutes so now I got my hot water in my jars on the onions so now I'm going to just let them sit for however long I think it was like five minutes or so on the package and I'm going to let them sit and then after they sat now I can just drain them off get them good and drain from all the water that it's in then I'll mix up my season a little bit more and pour over them. So there we go. That's what they look like going in. So now I can put them in the fridge here and just let them sit and season. And Anna said to do them for a week. I mean, she said even if they sit longer, they said they get better the longer they sit. So we'll let them sit in there and be happy for a week and then we'll come back and get them see there wave to them there <laughs> let them do their thing so now we go now we can get them out and try them for out for y'all and we'll see how they are so we'll check on the taste test and go from there 
Alrighty, folks, I got them done here. As y'all can see, y'all saw them too. And when I was getting them out of the fridge there, and I don't know if y'all noticed, I'm not sure that you did when you was watching, I waved to them when I was putting them in the first time. So that I'd know I'd be coming back for them. <laughs> but yeah, they look really, really good. I, I did every couple of days, I'd go in and kind of shake them around and put them back in. But they look really, really good. Um, so I'm excited to try them out. Like I said, I like onions and all, like I said in the intro when I did it. And uh, I like pickles too, so I'm interested to try them out. So I try them out. I got a little bowl here of them. So we'll see, see how they are. I'm excited about it though. I don't know if y'all can hear that or not. Still got. Mm. <laughs> Still got really good crunch to them. They're sweet. And then they're tangy too from the vinegar. And then they've got a little bit of. just a little bit of a spice to it it's not like you can't handle it spice but just just enough spice that it's right there and it's, it's nice spice that's nice <laughs> but yeah y'all y'all need to y'all need to try these out they are they are really good nice crunch from the onion still because you soak them in hot water too for a little while while you mixing up your uh, season pack and everything and then uh, you drain that off and pour it over so your onions are still good and crunchy I use a uh, Vidalia so they're kind of sweet and in between not hot good fresh onion taste anyway but yeah, it's nice and tangy, zingy from the uh, vinegar. Then it's kind of sweet from the sugar that you put in it. And then from the spices that are in it, it's kind of a little spicy as well. So it's, it's kind of hitting on all the flavor notes that you want. I'm, uh, I, wish, <laughs> I wish I had a pulled pork sandwich right now to put it on top of or have on just the side for brisket or something like that man these are good y'all <laughs> y'all need to try these out i'm excited to do some more stuff with it be good and like dice it up a little bit more and put on a hot dog man these are good yeah y'all try these out but anyways that's all this video was just kind of trying them out see how they go like i said in the intro that it did for y'all I want to do a chicken with it next. I think a chicken would be really good because it has that zesty Italian, you know, dressing that you can get, but it's like up to another level. It's like a lot better flavored than that. So, man, or turkey, pork, anything really. But it says like um, chicken, pork, and uh, fish, wild game meats. Oh dear, I need to try some. <laughs> I'm just I'm rolling with ideas, y'all. But anyways, I'll shut on up and think to myself so y'all ain't got to hear it. But I appreciate y'all watching as always. So it really does mean a lot. Y'all watching whatever little old me's doing. So I enjoy it and appreciate it and enjoy talking with y'all in the comments back and forth. But I thank y'all again so much for watching. Y'all uh, like, share, and subscribe if you want to, if you haven't already. And when you do, hey... You're part of the good old head to tail family. We love you and welcome on you. And so I'll catch y'all in the next one.